Hello dreamers and welcome to the Sleepy Scholar, the podcast that helps you learn in your dreams. I'm Debbie and I'm delighted to have you here with me as we embark on another peaceful journey to one of my favourite places in the whole world. Tonight, we'll travel to the serene shores of Portacloy Beach in North Mayo. A little known hidden gem brimming with beauty and folklore. Remember to subscribe, comment and share this story with a friend who loves relaxing folklore, just like you. I invite you to get comfortable, close your eyes and let go of the worries of the day. Allow yourself to drift into a state of relaxation as we begin our story. Imagine yourself standing at the edge of a quiet beach. The soft sand beneath your feet and the gentle whisper of waves in the distance. Welcome to Portacloy Beach, a magical place where the natural world and the spiritual realm of the East Shi come together. Let's unwind and focus on our bodies. Start by noticing your breath. Don't change it, just feel the salty sea air as you breathe in and out. Now shift your attention to your body. Feel any tightness? Just acknowledge it. Don't try to fix it. It will fade away as we listen to our story. Picture yourself on Portacloy Beach. A secluded haven, nestled between rugged cliffs and the vast Atlantic Ocean. The beach is a mosaic of soft golden sand and rocky outcrops, creating a landscape that is both wild and serene. As you walk along the shore, The sound of waves gently crashing against the rocks soothes your mind. The air is filled with the unmistakable scent of seaweed, mingling with the earthy aroma of the surrounding hills. You can feel the sand beneath your feet, cool and slightly damp, Moulded perfectly to each step you take. The sky above is a canvas of soft greys, with clouds that hint at the promise of rain. As you continue your stroll, the first drops begin to fall, creating delicate ripples in the rock pools scattered along the beach. The rain is light at first, almost playful, tapping on the rocks and leaves, whispering secrets of the sea and sky. These rock pools are like miniature worlds, each one teeming with life. Tiny fish dart between the rocks and seaweed sways gently with the rhythm of the water. 
you crouch down to peer into one of these pools, mesmerised by the vibrant green algae and the small, colourful shells nestled among the rocks. The water is so clear you can see the sandy bottom, dotted with tiny footprints of crabs and other creatures. As the rain falls more steadily, it brings a sense of tranquility, washing away any remaining thoughts of the day. The sound of the rain mingling with the ocean waves creates a symphony of nature that lulls you into a state of deep relaxation. You close your eyes for a moment, just listening, letting the sounds of Portacloy Beach transport you to a place of peace and serenity. Fado, fado, as the sun peeked through the leaves of the forest, a young girl with unruly waves of chestnut hair bounded down a path. Her green eyes sparkled with excitement as she stopped to examine a vibrant wildflower. This was Ashling a ten-year-old nature enthusiast who spent her days exploring the breathtaking landscapes of her locality. She couldn't help but smile as she continued on her journey, always eager to uncover new wonders in the world around her. Her family lived in a cosy cottage near the coast, The walls were decorated with beautiful paintings and photographs, showcasing the local scenery, a clear indication of their deep love for the land. Ashling's parents, Brendan and Thurin, have passed down a tradition of local legends and folklore. They often sat by the fireplace, sharing stories of the East Shi, the mystical beings who are said to inhabit the natural world. Ashling's eyes lit up with wonder as she devoured the ancient tales. Her mind racing with images of far-off lands and fantastical creatures, These stories ignited a burning desire within her to leave her small village and embark on her own adventures. In their warm, inviting home, the scent of turf from the hearth mixed with the aroma of soda bread baking in the oven. The shelves were lined with books of myths and legends, their pages well worn from frequent reading. Brendan, with his twinkling blue eyes and gentle voice, loved to recount the stories he heard from his own grandparents. Theron, with her nurturing spirit, often added her own embellishments, making each tale even more enchanting. Ashling's curiosity and adventurous spirit often led her to Portacloy Beach, her favourite place to wander and dream. She loved to explore the rock pools, 
peering into their depths and marvelling at the tiny ecosystems within. The beach was a place where she felt at peace, connected to the earth and the sea. The crashing waves and the whispering wind were hypnotic and deeply relaxing. On this particular day, Ashling set out for the beach with a sense of excitement. The sky was overcast and she could feel the promise of rain in the air. She knew that the beach would be even more enchanting in the rain, with the rock pools coming to life in a way that only she seemed to notice. She donned her favourite green raincoat, its pockets filled with treasures she'd collected from previous adventures. Smooth stones, colourful shells, and a feather from a seabird. As Ashling walked along the familiar path to the beach, she thought about the stories her parents had told her. Tales of fairies and ancient beings, of magical places hidden in the landscape. She wondered if she might discover something magical today. The path wound through a small grove of trees, their leaves rustling softly in the breeze, almost as if whispering encouragement to her. Reaching the edge of the beach, Ashling paused to take in the view. The sea stretched out before her, a vast expanse of blue and grey, with waves that rolled in gently, one after another. The cliffs stood tall and proud, guardians of this hidden paradise. She took a deep breath, filling her lungs with the invigorating salty air and stepped onto the sand, her heart full of anticipation. Walking along the shore, she spotted a series of rock pools nestled between the sandy stretches and the rugged cliffs. Each pool was a world unto itself, filled with shimmering water and teeming with life. She crouched beside one, her eyes wide with wonder as she watched tiny crabs scuttle across the sandy bottom and small fish dart between the rocks. She dipped her fingers into the cool water, feeling the smooth stones and the tickle of seaweed. The rain began to fall, softly at first, then more steadily. Ashling pulled up the hood of her raincoat, feeling the cool drops on her face. She loved the rain, the way it seemed to cleanse the world and bring everything to life. The sound of raindrops hitting the surface of the rock pools created a gentle, soothing melody that blended with the ocean's song. Ashling 
As she moved from one rock pool to the next, something caught her eye. One of the pools ahead of her seemed to glow with a soft, ethereal light. Intrigued, she moved closer to investigate. The light was faint but unmistakable. A delicate shimmer that danced on the surface of the water. Kneeling beside the pool, she saw that it was different from any other she had encountered. The water was crystal clear and she could see tiny, delicate creatures darting beneath the surface. There was a gentle, melodic humming emanating from the pool, filling the air with a sense of magic. The pool seemed deeper than the others, its depths mysterious and inviting. Ashling reached out to touch the water, her heart pounding with excitement and wonder. As her fingers made contact with the surface, she felt a sudden, gentle pull. And the world around her began to change. The rain, the beach, the rock pools, all of it faded away, replaced by something entirely new and wondrous. In an instant, Ashling found herself transported to a new and enchanting realm. The familiar beach was gone, replaced by a landscape of breathtaking beauty and vibrant colours. Ashling looked around in awe taking in the magical scene before her, but wary of what she might find. The sky here was a deep cerulean blue, with fluffy white clouds that drifted lazily overhead. The sun cast a warm golden glow over the landscape, making everything sparkle and shine. As she explored this new world, she encountered creatures she had only heard about in the stories she heard by the hearth. There were majestic animals, a deer with antlers that seemed to be made of silver, grazing peacefully in the meadow. She watched in amazement as a butterfly with wings that glistened like jewels fluttered past her, landing delicately on a vibrant flower. As Ashling wandered through the meadows, she stumbled upon a figure cloaked in shimmering green robes. The woman's long hair glimmered like spun gold and her eyes seemed to hold the secrets of the world. This was no mere fairy. This was Bridget a member of the East She, with an aura of ancient wisdom and power that radiated from her being. Bridget's deep hazel eyes sparkled as she approached Ashling, 
she could feel the girl's pure heart beating with love for nature. Welcome to the fairy pools, Bridget said with a warm smile, her voice carrying a soothing melody. I am the guardian of this sacred place where our worlds meet. Her words were as soft as a gentle breeze filled with kindness and warmth that enveloped Ashling like a comforting embrace. Ashling, Bridget whispered in a voice that was both soft and powerful. You have found your way to our realm because your heart is open to the magic of the world around you. You are a rare soul and we have been watching over you for some time. Ashling followed Bridget through the lush meadow, her eyes wide with wonder at the beauty surrounding her. Every step revealed a new marvel. The flowers around them seemed to glow with their own inner light, casting a soft, magical radiance over the landscape. She bent down to touch one, feeling its delicate petals, which were as soft as velvet and seemed to hum with a faint musical vibration. These flowers are enchanted, Bridget explained, her voice as gentle as the breeze that rustled through the meadow. They bloom when the balance of our worlds is in check. Ashling straightened up, taking in the sight of the flowers swaying gently. She could hear the faint whispers of the trees as they passed into a forest, their leaves rustling with secrets of ancient times. The air here was cooler filled with the scent of oak and earth. Sunlight filtered through the dense canopy above, casting dappled shadows on the forest floor. Suddenly, a flash of red caught Ashling's eye. She turned to see a red fox standing on a nearby hill, its cunning eyes watching her intently. Bridget noticed her gaze and smiled. The fox is a symbol of cleverness and curiosity, she said. He is one of our most revered creatures. Always watching, always learning. The fox regarded them for a moment longer before disappearing into the underbrush, leaving Ashling with a sense of kinship. They continued their journey, the path winding through the forest. The sound of water reached Ashling's ears, growing louder with each step. As they emerged from the trees, Ashling gasped. Before her lay a sparkling stream its waters so clear she could see the pebbles on the bottom. 
otters played in the water, tumbling and splashing with pure joy. She knelt at the edge of the stream, her fingers trailing in the cool, refreshing water. The otters symbolise the connection between land and water, Bridget said, kneeling beside her. Their playfulness reminds us of the joy found in the natural world. Ashling watched the otters. Their movements graceful and fluid. And felt a deep sense of happiness. She could see how every creature, every element of this realm, was connected in a delicate balance. Bridget rose and led Ashling along the stream's edge, where the banks were lined with flowers and the buzzing of bees. The bees moved purposefully from bloom to bloom, collecting nectar and spreading pollen. Bees are vital to our land, Bridget explained. Without them, many plants would not survive and the balance of our world would be disrupted. Ashling observed the bees marvelling at their diligence. She had never realised how crucial these tiny creatures were. As they meandered through the landscape, they reached a wide river, its surface shimmering like silver. Ashling's breath caught as she saw silver salmon leaping upstream, their powerful bodies slicing through the water. Salmon are sacred, Bridget said softly. They carry the wisdom of the ages and remind us of the interconnectedness of all life. Ashling stood in awe as the salmon fought their way upstream. She was amazed by their strength and determination. They continued along the riverbank, where tall ancient trees stood like guardians. Bridget led Ashling to one of the largest trees she had ever seen. Its trunk was thick and gnarled, and its branches spread wide offering shelter and shade. This is a hawthorn tree, Bridget said, placing her hand on the rough bark. It is sacred to us, a symbol of protection and balance. Ashling touched the tree, feeling a warm, comforting energy radiate from it. She understood now why these trees were revered. They were not just part of the landscape, they were essential to the magic and harmony of the realm. Bridget continued to guide Ashling through the woodland showing her rowan trees with their bright red berries, known for their protective qualities. Ashling plucked a handful of plump, ripe berries from the tree. 
their smooth surface glistening in the sunlight. As she held them, she felt grateful for nature and its abundance. They finally reached a small clearing where primroses bloomed in the most delicate yellow she had ever seen. Bridget knelt beside the flowers, her fingers gently brushing their petals. Primroses are believed to grant entry to our world, she explained. They symbolize the doorway between the human realm and the fairy realm. Ashling felt a shiver of excitement. She knelt beside Bridget, her hand touching the delicate flowers. She could almost feel the magic that flowed through them, a real connection to the fairy world. As they stood up, Bridget looked at Ashling with a gentle smile. You have learned much today, Ashling. Remember these lessons, for they will guide you in maintaining the balance between our worlds. Ashling nodded, her heart full of gratitude and wonder. She felt a deep sense of responsibility to protect and cherish the natural world. Every plant, every creature she had encountered had shown her the importance of harmony and respect. They began their journey back through the forest. The sun beginning to set and casting a golden glow over the landscape. The trees whispered their farewells and the flowers seemed to bow as Ashling passed. She felt a profound connection to this place, knowing she would carry its magic with her always. As they reached the edge of the forest, the path opened up to a wide meadow where a gentle breeze carried the sweet scent of blackberries. The meadow was a vibrant tapestry of colours, with butterflies flitting from blossom to blossom. The sky above was painted with the warm hues of the setting sun, casting a golden light over everything. They continued walking, and soon the faint sound of laughter reached Ashling's ears. She looked up to see a group of children playing near a cluster of ancient standing stones. Their laughter was like music and their movements were graceful and fluid, as if they were dancing with the very essence of the land. Who are they? Ashling asked, captivated by their joyful play. These are the children of the East She, Bridget explained. They embody the pure, untamed spirit of our world. Their laughter and play are vital to maintaining the magic that flows through our realm. Ashling watched them for a while, feeling their happiness seep into her heart. The children waved at her and she waved back, a smile spreading across her face. 
As they moved on, Bridget led Ashling to a hill overlooking the meadow. They sat down and Bridget pointed to the horizon where the sun was now a brilliant orb of orange and pink slowly sinking into the earth. Ashling, Bridget began, her voice soft and melodic. Our world is deeply connected to yours. The magic that flows here influences your world in ways you might not always see. The balance we maintain is delicate and it is vital that this harmony is respected. Ashling listened intently, the words resonating deeply within her. She felt a deep sense of duty and honour to protect this magical place and its wisdom. You have a special heart, one that understands the beauty and importance of nature. This is why you were able to find our world. Bridget continued, but with this understanding comes responsibility. Bridget stood and extended her hand to Ashling, helping her up. They walked back toward the shimmering pool that served as the portal between their worlds. Before you return, there is something you must know, Bridget said, her expression serious yet kind. There are rules you must follow to protect the balance between our worlds. You must remember these rules and share the wisdom of the East She with your people. Ashling felt a mixture of anticipation and solemnity. She knew the next words Bridget spoke would be crucial. The fairy pools appear under only very specific conditions. Often during summer rains, when the balance between our worlds is just right, Bridget explained. If you stay too long in our realm, you risk losing your way and becoming part of it forever. The pools close when the sun dries them up, marking the end of the connection until the next rain. Ashling nodded, understanding the gravity of Bridget's words. She felt a pang of anxiety at the thought of being trapped, but also a deep sense of respect for the need to maintain balance and harmony. Bridget continued, You have a task, Ashling. It is your duty to remember and share the wisdom of the East She. Teach your people to respect nature to understand the interconnectedness of all living things and to honour the ancient traditions. Ashling's heart swelled with pride and responsibility. She was only a child, but she had been entrusted with such an important task. She knew she had been given a rare and precious gift and was determined to honour it. With a final heartfelt goodbye, Ashling stepped back through the shimmering fairy pool, the world of the East She fading away as the familiar beach of Porta Cloy reappeared before her. The rain had stopped and the beach was bathed in the soft golden light of the setting sun. Ashling took a deep breath 
feeling the cool sea breeze on her face. She knew that she had experienced something truly magical and she was determined to keep the lessons she had learned. With a heart full of gratitude and a spirit brimming with wonder, she made her way home, ready to share her incredible journey with her friends and family. The beach felt different now, imbued with a sense of magic and wonder. But it wasn't the beach that had changed. It was Ashling herself. She had absorbed the wisdom of the land. Ashling took a moment to gather her thoughts and questioned if it had really just happened at all. In the quiet of the evening, as her father was lighting the fire, she dared to tell her story, unsure of how it would be received. Her family listened in understanding, and although they were sceptical of her recount, they could see she had changed somehow. She seemed wise beyond her years. Ashling began to incorporate the ancient traditions into her daily life, leaving offerings at fairy mounds and celebrating the festivals that honour the cycles of nature. But most of all, she worked hard to ensure that the land was protected and kept sacred, as the fairies had taught her. She came to appreciate the smallest details of every leaf and the wonder of the world that was reflected in every dewdrop. As she aged, Ashling's once fiery hair had silvered and her eyes held the depth of ancient knowledge. She travelled from village to village, sharing stories of the East She and reminding listeners of the importance of preserving nature and tradition. Children gathered round her wide-eyed and eager to learn from this wise woman who seemed to embody magic itself. And as long as Ashling lived, the spirit of the East She would never be forgotten. In the winter of her life, Ashling took daily walks through the ancient woodland where she could still feel the presence of the she guiding her. The vibrant green leaves rustled in the gentle breeze and the birds sang in perfect harmony. As she sat on a mossy rock one evening, she felt a sense of calm wash over her and she knew that this was her legacy. All around her were wildflowers blooming in vibrant colours, a great display of the power of nature and the wisdom of her people. She closed her eyes and took a deep breath, feeling a deep sense of peace and satisfaction, knowing she had fulfilled her purpose as a protector of the old ways. Thank you for joining me on this journey to the magical world of Port Cloy Beach and the fairy pools. I hope you have enjoyed the story and found a sense of peace and wonder in the beauty of nature and the wisdom of the East She. As you drift off to sleep, 
Carry with you the sense of calm and tranquility that comes from being in harmony with the natural world. Remember the importance of respect, balance and the interconnectedness in all things. May your dreams be filled with the magic of the fairy pools and the serenity of Portacloy Beach. Wishing you a restful night and sweet dreams. Yehawai. Good night. <laughs>